Hello everyone, it is Melanie Browning here once again, um, for waiting for Rufus Tillman who is joining me for a live interview. So we'll give him a moment to jump on and I hope you are all doing well and fabulous and ready to hear from another entertainer who is going out there and doing the thing that he loves to do. So let's see, he's not in here yet, so we'll give him a couple more minutes. Rufus, where are you? There you are. All right, let's see here. Let's get him in. All right. Good job. Feels like it's been forever since I've done this. I almost forget how. All right. All right. Did that not work? There we go. <laughs> What's going on? How you doing, Rufus? I'm good. And you? I am doing fantastic. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Well, welcome, and thank you for joining me here. Um, I'm bringing you on here for several reasons. Um, first of all, I just want to celebrate you as a musician, as a singer. Um, I think you're absolutely amazing. So thank you for joining me here today. Um, oh, anytime. Can you, do you mind jumping right in and kind of telling everyone, like, your background of um, growing up around music, really what kind of got you, got you into music and, and what it is that you love about it? Well, first of all, I mean, I, I grew up uh, around music. Everybody I know, hold on one second. I'm not to get rid of that. But uh, I know I'm a little darker, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard, kind of hard to see in the in the shadows there. Hold on, my light just. I did warn out. you about that. Yeah, my light just went out for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully that stays on. But anyways, um, I grew up, in, you know, uh, my background is music. Uh, my family, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not going to stay on. But anyways, uh, our family, um, first of all, we grew up in a church singing music. And um, and on top of that, you know, I, I was in choirs and, and everything else. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this lighting better. Maybe we can get it better. I know I'm kind of dark. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll have to... We can we can jump off if you want, and if you want, or we can just go with it. Whatever, I'm cool either way. So if you want to set something else up, we can jump back on here, or we can uh -huh. go with it. Do, what do you think? Uh, is it too dark for you? It's probably too dark, huh? We can't see your handsome face, so. <laughs> Hold it's on one you. second. I'm sure your fans want to see you. Right. <laughs> Hold on one second. I guess what I'll do is I'll just have to go to the light. This Instagram, uh, it's, there's always something like with every show, there's something I either forget to mention to the people that are coming on here or there's something new, a new thing to it. So. I appreciate you um, bearing with me and, and going along with it. So thank you. Uh, well, yeah, it's a little hard to see me because of the light. Um, and I thought I thought I charged my light, but it didn't. Fit, it, it doesn't want to come on. It stay on, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I said no, nope, not today. All right, well, let's go with it if you don't mind. All right, cool that's it. fine. <clears throat> so back to you. You um, grew up in choir and and doing from. What age do you think you really got into it? Um, man, I've been singing since I was about five, actually. You know, my whole family uh, sings. It's just I'm one of the, the ones that actually chose to do something with it. Mm. So, um, yeah, growing up in a family of singers, it's kind of like um, you, it's almost like you have to sing. <clears throat> <laughs> you don't have to sing, but it's, it's like it's, it's well known in your family. So, I mean, why not? So, you know, I was always one of the ones I was younger than uh, most of the cousins that I, that I used to be around, but um, they made me better as a singer. So I grew up in the church singing and I was in the choir for, for X amount of years. And 
uh, once I moved from Louisiana, I kind of exposed myself to more um, outcome as far as music goes. Because then I hopped in a, <clears throat> a, 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 it was like, what, 100 plus people in, in, in my choir in school, in wow. high school. So mm -hmm. I got a chance to learn classical music as well. And, you know, so there's gospel, then there's classical training. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I get, I really got, I really dove into R&B and soul and all that kind of stuff a little later. Now, now, as a kid, because this really fascinates me, I was not, I did not grow up in a, a musical family. And I hear this a lot from a lot of musicians that, you know, just from the get go, there are people you know, singing or playing around them. Now, when mm -hmm. you were younger, was it, was it structured at all? Until like, I, I understand maybe once you got in choir, there's more um, structure to it. But what was it just, you were just in it and doing it? Or did people take you aside and actually teach you? Do you really remember from, from the well, young age? I taught, I taught myself up until high school. Oh, wow. So, okay. <clears throat> so my thing of teaching myself was listening to boys and men and copying everything they do <laughs> pretty <That's> much. Awesome. <clears throat> so, Take me back there, man. <laughs> right. So you, I, I learned all the, uh, you know, I learned all the, all the runs and stuff they would do, which were hard. And, but I was, a, I'm a challenging person. I challenged myself. I've never been the one to want to do easy songs mm -hmm. because, you know, easy songs just mean you're not learning much. <laughs> So I always challenge myself. So I, I used to listen to Boys and Men back and forth and just learn all the runs and all the uh, different um, aspects of music that they had. You know, they were pretty talented. They had, you know, um, especially the, or I guess you can, I don't know if you can call him the lead singer, but um, the one, I can't even remember his name at the moment, but. I don't um, remember like any of them, but I do remember listening I, to him a lot. Yeah, but he would do a lot of different riffs and runs and stuff. And that's kind of what, what opened my eyes to what I, I'm capable of. And then having the older siblings, you know, them also singing all the time, singing in choir. Uh, we, we did groups and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, so that gave me a lot of experience. And then when I, came, I went to uh, college, I mean, not college, high school uh, out here in Arizona, you know, uh, I met Miss Yarbrough uh, and she pretty much was like, you know how to sing, but I'm gonna teach you how to sing. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to teach nice. you how to pretty much do what you want to do with your vocals, you know, That's so awesome. you can jump from, from genre to genre, if you like, or you can mix two, you can mix more than one genre and come up with your own or whatever, you know, but, uh, and yeah, how, she was taught that? how was that jumping into that, having the, a little bit more structure to it? Was it, was it more freeing or did it feel like harder work that you had to put into it or? Well, it as like far as gospel and classical and stuff, it's a lot different, but same also singing is singing was how I feel, but, Classical kind of gives you the structure, kind of gives you the basics, kind of, uh, it's, it's like when you're learning how to play piano and you don't know the structure, I mean, know, know the basics, you don't mm -hmm. have, you, you'll never learn how to create if you don't learn the mm -hmm. simple things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The simple things are, are what really make you a better singer, player, or whatever. But um, So just being in that classical choir, um, I learned how to project my sound, how to make my sound louder, how to, uh, you know, go from the minimal things I knew how to do to making things my own, stuff like that. Um, breathing, uh, I teach my clients all the time, my students, as far as my uh, vocal students, that breathing is everything. And a lot of singers don't, don't realize that. They don't know how to breathe or when to breathe. So, you know, when you learn small things like that and then you realize why you're running out of breath or why you can't get that note or why, you know, your voice cracks or whatever. But uh, once you learn that, you pretty much learn um, how to fine tune your own sound, you know? So I, yeah. that's where I come from, just a, a, a big pole, pool of, of, of learning, you know, just circle around circle, circle to circle, you know? Yeah. And that, what, what really um, jumped out to me with you is, is like you said, you know, there's a lot of people in your family, but you're, you, and you're, you're, you chose to do something with it. And that's, kind of a big part of the reason why I wanted you on was um, I know that recently you moved back to the Phoenix area in order to more uh, pursue the, the singing career and the music career a lot more. And, yeah. and to me, that's just like, it's, it takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of courage and, and faith in yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I, you know, if you want to share some of the emotions, the feelings, the thought processes that go, I mean, cause you have a lot going on and there's, um, you know, a lot at stake and everyone can kind of feel like they're stuck or they can't do something because of whatever reason <clears throat> they come up with. 
but you're someone that chose to do it and to follow your dreams. Um, but yeah, can you kind of share that with some people watching that might be a little on the fence or fearful? Yeah, um, it's one of those things to where uh, you just have to know what you're capable of, you know, and, and a lot of things are things in life are a risk. You're going to take risk in order to get a big reward anyway. So I look at life that way. Um, I have a talent. I've been blessed. God blessed me with a talent. And it's up to me to figure out that talent and use it to his, my, you know, my best abilities and, and use it full on instead of just knowing I have something that I can give and speak to people and be an example and just sit on it. You know, yeah. and, and, and a lot of things come in life um, that, that try to hold you down. As, like as far as not really hold you down, but things that uh, put a little block in your system until you can get back to it or whatever. You know, I went to a, through a, a, a family moment where, you know, I got married and I have two beautiful stepkids and you know wife and, and um, you know, but you got to take care of family first before you go pursue some things. You know what I mean? You just yeah. got to make sure everything at home is good. But um, once you get a grasp on, you know, everything and you're ready to move and do what you were born to do then you just it, it just comes naturally and it feels right and you know and as long as you as long as you do things with that that are that are in your heart i feel like you can't go wrong and as long as you're putting all your effort into it you know that's the one thing is if i were to do you know these these dreams as far as people call them dreams i don't really call it a dream i just feel like it's the job that i was meant to do mm. you know what i mean um yeah. I've I've dreamed about a lot of things, but I know that I can do this. You know what I'm saying? So my my thing is <clears throat> at some point in your life you have to get back to the things that keep you going. You know. And if you and don't you, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, when you first started going into it and started talking about that, I caught that feeling, that that sense of knowing, that confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, that's within you. That really um, is kind of what I'm picking up from this. And I, I, mm -hmm. I love feeling that from you. And I, I was fortunate enough to be able to see you live uh, this Friday. And mm -hmm. your confidence is there on stage as well. So it, I, I really love that. And I'm going to hold on to that, that, that knowledge of just, you know, getting to that place of knowing you're doing the thing mm -hmm. that you, you know, that you should be doing mm -hmm. and that you're sharing it. So yeah, yeah that's, I, that's I feel like it's no different than a uh, corporate job or anything else, because when you're at that job, you got to learn what you're supposed to do and you got to be pretty good at it or they'll pl replace you. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with, with me uh, preparing myself for music. It's I'm always preparing. I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't you know what I mean? I don't do a whole lot of things because I'm always preparing. I always have new music to learn, but I like doing it. So. At, some, at, at points and times in my life, it does feel like work, but then it doesn't feel like work. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Because the one thing I always remember is repetition is everything. And if you teach, if you uh, repeat something a hundred times, you're going to remember it. And that's how I get my confidence is I don't get confidence. It's not cockiness. It's, it's uh, me knowing that I practiced. It's me knowing that I prepared myself. You know what I mean? Uh, I tell people all the time, if I haven't studied it, I'm not doing it <laughs> because <laughs> it's up to me. Nobody is going to be accountable for what I'm doing other than me. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I if I um, agree to do something, which is, you know, um, doing shows or preparing for shows or anything like that, then I have a commitment, you know, just like my just like a job, mm -hmm. regular job. You have a commitment every day you get up you got to be good at what you do so you don't get replaced right right you know as as a musician or singer <clears throat> you know you won't get replaced because you know that you're good or at least good enough because of how you practice how you prepare yourself <clears throat> excuse me but yeah um i put those those thoughts in my mind all the time and it, and it keeps me from getting spooked out or, you know, thinking it's impossible or anything, you know, and the more experience you have, the, the more you, you know, get comfortable with just being yourself and doing the things that you like to do. That's awesome. And yeah, it was a, an amazing performance last Friday. It was, a, it was a pleasure to be able to see you live. Yeah, it was I've fun. Seen, seen a lot of videos of you. Um, and that's one thing, if, if for those watching, you can go ahead and check Rufus out. You're on Facebook, right? And Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, they'll be tagged in here as well. Um, so you can check out him. I, I'm not sure what kind of videos and stuff. There are some videos of you on, on Ripcord Entertainment's YouTube channel as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so, yeah, um, where, um, so right now, that's one, one question I have as far as, you know, do you have any specific goals in mind right now? Is it, um, is, you know, which, which direction are you really wanting to go? Is it, um, you know, have you put a lot of thought into what, where it is that you want to get to? If that makes yeah, sense. um, I have, um, I'm still working on music. I write music as well. So, not only, not only do I perform, you know, cover songs and, and, and you know, hop in bands and stuff like that. Over the years, I created my own bands and we would, would do original sometimes with a lot of, you know, covers as well. But um, mm -hmm. right now I'm working with a guy um, named Martin. Um, and and we it's one of the guys that I had in a band called Space Monks um, in, in uh, Dallas. Right. Mm -hmm. And we still we're still buddies. All of us are still friends. Those are my those are my brothers, really. Um, and. But Martin, he's, he produces. And I didn't know that he was producing, right? I, and he, we were in the band for about, together for about a year. And I didn't know this guy was producing music. You know, I'm like, where you been holding all this music, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell me these things, you know? But uh, anyways, you know, I found out that he was producing music. And he, he actually wrote a song that um, had some words in it that kind of hit home, you know? And mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, and then we just started writing music together, you know, um, and now we're like five songs in on an EP. So we're, we're I'm, I think I'm going to do about seven of them <clears throat> and then release singles, you know, as I go. Awesome. But um, yeah, I'm writing, we're, we're writing music right now. We're trying to put a project together. He's in Dallas. I'm out here. So it's kind of difficult, but um, I'll be back in, in Dallas sometime soon. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, we're just going back and forth with that, that uh, EP right now. Um, getting ready to try to try to at least re release one of the uh, the uh, singles from it. But um, yeah, um, I've always been a writer since I was in high school. Well, before I was in high school, my first song, I, I think I wrote it when I was like 14, something like that. That's awesome. And then I sat on that for a while and I didn't write another song until I graduated high school. And then I met some people who were actually recording, you know. Um, I don't know if you know him, but there's, this, well, we call him Shogun, but his name is Kawan, mm -hmm. right? And then Kawan Mitchell, and then there's another guy. Uh, we used to call him D1, but his name is Darren Battle. And they were like, they're still like family to me. They kind of, they kind of started the wave of me actually finding who I am because they were so willing to uh, to dive into, you know, my sound and help me uh, start a sound at least and help me, like, help me understand what the process of recording and all that kind of stuff is. And you know what I mean? And uh, we did songs together. I think that was, man, that was, how long was that? That was like 2004, five, something like that, six. <clears throat> and I also met another guy named Dustin, uh, you know, um, back in about the, around, around the same time, but he was also, you know, making beats and stuff like that. And those were the people that kind of, kind of got me started right out of high school mm -hmm. because I wasn't familiar with the recording of it. And if I, I don't think if I, if I had not moved, you know, to uh, Arizona and stayed in Louisiana, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been recording yeah. and singing. You know what I mean? I would have been probably, you know, in a choir at church or anything, something like that, but I just didn't know the opportunities until I left. Cause Louisiana is, I love Louisiana, but it's kind of small and, and, you know, you catch on to things a little late. <clears throat> sometimes yeah. you know? i mean i'm new down here in in arizona but there seems to be quite a bit of music going on so mm -hmm. that's it's pretty awesome um yeah also you you're a vocal instructor and I so do. i am so are you accepting new clients how does that work how can someone get in touch yeah with i'm accepting new interested? clients um you can they can always hit me up through social media or or um they can always uh email me i, I have all the information on my social media but uh, yeah, I have I have uh, clients you know right now that I'm coaching, um, and it's all about learning your skill, uh, learning where you want to go. Like you say, where do you want to go as a, as a singer? So I pr I pretty much prepare the person for for their future, for whatever that future is for them. You know, mm -hmm. well if they just want to learn how to sing and and be you know be able to project good sound. Let's go there. But if they want to be an artist, they want to be a singer that, you know, I, I take it as far as we can go. I teach you as far as you want to go. And so we just start out with the basics. Everybody has to start at, at the basics, which are, you know, um, 
simple mommy made me mask my M&M thing, you know, uh, drills and, you know, uh, octave drills and stuff like that. Um, I pretty much teach you breathing and how to control, control your voice completely. Um, it's just some small things that people just don't understand that'll make you that much greater of a singer. So every, every, um, Every student I have, we go through the same process. It's nothing, nothing's changed. I've uh, had students in the past that wanted to uh, do competitions. And when we were done training or they got to a certain point, they would try, to, they tried the competition. And my first client had won her competition, actually. She awesome. was, she got first place, you know, and I was happy about that because we worked pretty hard. Yeah. You know, That's what I was gonna um, say. She, she must've listened and worked hard. She did the work and you yeah, definitely have yeah. the talent and you know what you're talking like. I know I'm not in the business, but I, I, I see you perform and I see, the, mm -hmm. you know, some of the stuff behind the scenes of, of what you put into it and how, you know, your mind is working and you're working things out. And it's, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a lot going on there. So. Yeah. And yeah, yeah working with, uh, working with Craig, you got to be quick on your feet, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, okay. because he's not a traditional performer, you know, he's not your traditional performer. He loves to, he, he's he's quick with thinking and he likes to share the, mo the moment with the room. So you might not have a set list. It might just de depends on what's going on around us, you know. And so you just have to be ready and have your set ready and, you know, have your songs together and, you know, practice is everything. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but, but I am looking for more clients. If, you know, if anybody ever want to contact me, just get, you know, contact me through social media. I can teach you. If I ever you, get uh, brave enough, you're who I'm going to. Hey, but, uh, you, I can see it in like your that. eyes. You're brave. You are brave. <laughs> you are that. brave. <laughs> to the car. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Or the shower. You know, you can sing in the shower. You can do. I you do. can sing wherever. My you can poor sing. <laughs> you know, just. <laughs> yeah, it's everybody starts off in the shower. You know, just yeah. singing. Just so that's when you think nobody's listening to you. But that's when everybody's well, it listening. Sounds better. You know. To you. <laughs> Well, that that reverb, okay, you, <laughs> you get reverb from you know from the hall effect in the in the you know in the bathroom. Yeah, you're in the shower, you're singing, you walk out, you're like, what happened? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <that you say? laughs> oh man, well, yeah, I saw this. I saw a clip. Pleasure. I saw a yeah. clip today, right? I saw a clip okay. today of um this guy that was singing in the shower, but he was it was I believe it was a you know they were it wasn't real. It was just something yeah. they posted to be funny. But this guy was in the shower singing. And this guy, he was getting robbed. But and then the guy that was robbing his house, um, you know, he had some, a TV in his hand, about to take off. And then that next thing I know, he he listened to the guy singing, and he's just rocking to it. And then he started putting pulling money out, and then he started tipping him. <laughs> he don't even he's leaving money by the door. He don't even know he's getting tipped. It was That's funny. funny. <laughs> I like that. So a robbery came, you know, he probably ended up paying for the for the TV he was taking. So yeah. But anyways, yeah. He had to show his respect. Yeah. Something about music, man. It is. Well, thank you it so really much is. for joining joining me here. It's been a pleasure. And yes, mm -hmm. anyone watching, if you're looking for someone. Um, if you're looking for a band to perform, um, if you're right, looking right. for a performer, if you're looking for an instructor, reach out to Rufus and um, he's got all of the above for you. So um, find him here on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, and if somehow I miss the links or whatever, just get in contact with me and I'll point you in the right direction to him. So mm -hmm. it has been wonderful and I look forward to the next time I get to see you live. Hopefully soon. Right. So you rock right, it. right. Right. Yeah, I'm at the I'm at the Ember on Saturdays at the Wicker Pie. So, if y'all if anybody want to come through and check us out one day, nice. um, we've got great food in, there and just oh, oh yeah. yes, with you there, it's, yeah, that'd be it's awesome. out in Fountain Hills, but it's worth it once you get there, you know. Yep, definitely is. All right, man, thank you so much. Have a great night. You too. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks for watching, right. everyone. Have a good one. All right, bye.